a gay Christian question mark. Now I will give fair warning, this has to do with religion and I know for some people it can be a really touchy subject and so I just wanted to put that out there as a disclaimer. Also I'm going to be talking about some things um, and so a common disclaimer that if you question anything, you know, you're more than welcome to go ahead and grab a Bible. Hey everybody! So I did my last video talking about LGBTQIA and acceptance from family and friends and also just talked about my personal experience and something I kind of slightly touched on I wanted to continue to talk about in my last video but I felt like it was super important for me to actually make a separate video about. So after that clip and I realized that I didn't actually finish my sentence or my thought on that, I wanted to fully delve into what I was trying to say by that half sentence before I just ended the video on everything else that I wanted to talk about. So what I was intending to say, the full sentence is, in my mind and in my heart, I just can't believe that someone who had died for my sins, who literally went on the cross and died for me, would literally view me as somebody that deserves to burn in hell for all eternity just because of who I am and who I love. When me and my husband first got together, we contemplated our relationship because of certain personal things, which I'm sure eventually we'll actually fully delve into. Right now is not the time. When we first got together, we had a lot of reservations and it was fully just based upon our souls and whether we thought we were going to doom the other person. Uh, very much a twilight moment <laughs> where <laughs> you like, you love the person so much that you don't want to hurt them. If you're the one that's causing that hurt or that pain, then we always want to take ourselves out of the situation. So we never like had breaks up, breakups back together, breakup back together. I forbid that in our relationship because of my past relationship with my abusive boyfriend. And that's all we constantly did for five years straight. And that just drives me banana freaking sandwich. So that was something that when we first got together, I was like, there is no on or off unless it's completely off. So if you're like 100% that you are actually done, then okay, say that, you know, we're breaking up. There is no breaks to me. I don't whole friends thing, you know, like we were on a break. That is, you wouldn't have that problem if you didn't have breaks. <laughs> like you just be in a relationship or not, it's fine. We, at the first of our relationship, we knew that we loved each other, but we didn't know if our relationship actually was like, was okay. We did a lot of like soul searching, and a lot of like searching in the Bible and we found like a lot of like interesting things. To me in my heart, what I was trying to say with that piece is in my core, my deep down level, I cannot agree that God doesn't love me because of me being me, because he made me this way. Like I could understand if he doesn't like my decisions and for that, I, you know, that's between me and him, and that's fine. But that's solely between me and him. It has nothing to do with my husband. It has nothing to do with my family. It has nothing to do with my neighbors. It does not affect them and their salvation. It only affects mine. And that's what gets me so frustrated, uh, especially with, like, people that I literally had this debate with every single day. <laughs> that it was ridiculous that people thought that we weren't even gonna last that long. Not because we don't work well together, we absolutely do. We stun people by how well we mesh together. I mean, we've worked jobs together before and not had problems because we understand like mindset of like, we can be separate, but we also are so intertwined with each other that literally we we understand what the other person is thinking before they even think that they're, they're thinking it. That's such an amazing, wholesome relationship to be a part of. And in my deepest, darkest center of my soul and myself, I just don't believe that God is not okay with that. That literally my whole entire life has been pushing me to be with him and has been pushing me to to have the strength, the fortitude, the stamina, the the things that I had to go through, the hardships that I had to endure to be in this relationship, to be the person who I am today, to be the most perfect person for him. And in my mind, that fate, I just don't see it being a byproduct of Satan. I see it being a byproduct of 
God and his love for me and his love for Sebastian and his love for his people that I just can't, I can't agree that it's evil. I can't agree that I'm not supposed to be who I am in the way that I am. I just, I can't. God is love and it says that in the Bible that God is love. And if me loving another person, no matter who they are and what they have in their pants or anything like that, it shouldn't have a direct reflection upon me and my my personal relationship with God. And we prayed about it. I prayed about it and I soul searched on my own because I felt like it was very much a personal thing of, you know, Seb is having a hard time. And to me, I just, the gut feelings and that, I just couldn't agree that it was wrong. And I wanted to make sure that that was okay. I didn't want to have those feelings and have them actually be coming from a place of evil. And I wanted to be able to fully explain my thoughts on why I feel the way that I feel. And I still feel that way to this day, if not even more so than what I felt almost six years ago, that we were destined to be together, that I love him with every fiber of my being. And I've had the most amazing relationship and I have all that to give thanks to God for. And I just don't see how God could hate me for that. I mean, if he ends up doing so, then okay. But I'm going to ask like, why? If you tell us to love one another and you tell us to love ourselves and to love as God would love, how is me being in love with somebody? How is that wrong? How is that evil? I thought God is love, not Satan is love. And I feel like that's wholly the piece that is missing from everybody's lives when it specifically comes to LGBTQIA stuff is that we're all missing that piece that, you know, do unto others as you would have done unto you. And also to be more Christ-like. And it's literally not that you have to be trans or gay. It's not that you have to condone what they're doing, but it's to understand that God made them that way and that God put them here on this earth for his glory and his name and to experience the things that God wants to experience through their eyes and through their heart and through their soul. Like anybody else, we're just like anybody else. We're just human beings all for the glory of God. We are out there. I mean, we're like magical unicorns. I know no one up, like thinks they exist, but they do, they actually really do. Just like anything in life, you can have different variations of everything. So I wouldn't discredit anything. Now, me personally, I haven't actually went looking for that sort of like subject of like being a Christian, also gay. Um, and being part of a group, but I just wanted to talk about my personal experience and to give some real real talk on the things that I've struggled with and specifically struggled with my last topic of being in love with someone and you being part of the LGBTQIA and having to decide if it's okay or not. I think the hardest thing is having family members who are also religious and spiritual and you can't have a conversation with them. You can't explain the things that you've read and you've researched or just how you wholesomely feel inside your heart. And I think the most hurtful thing that has ever happened to me is to, to be called inherently evil. Unless I'm possessed, <laughs> like, I'm sorry I don't feel inherently evil and I would hope that I would know if I was. <laughs> I think that sometimes people just don't realize how hurtful things can be. And I think still, since I was a little kid, that human beings are just so cruel to other human beings. And I wish that I could do something. Like, I don't know if these videos are gonna do anything about that, but my hope is that maybe one person will watch one of my videos and realize, yeah, that she actually has a really good point. You know, maybe I should reconsider the things that I'm saying or thinking or even doing. My life has been a really interesting journey for sure. I'm really thankful for the things that I've been through and that God has put me through because I wouldn't be the person that I am today. And I'm so thankful that I am the person that I am today. I don't think that I would have been able to get through the hardships of my life without being molded into that person that I am. I'm sure that a lot of other people out there, they wouldn't have survived like I did. Sometimes it just really blows my mind too when I see like Facebook memories pop up and 
I see previous things that I've posted and I'm like, wow, yeah, I totally forgot about that. There's just things that every single day I just forget whether because I want to or because it's just so much trauma. I just need to like not think about it anymore and basically speak it and then forget about it and leave it because carrying the baggage with me everywhere, it just gets so heavy sometimes. And that's one of the biggest reasons why I think that I gravitate towards God so much because it's too heavy of a burden for me to carry. Me being just the weak little human that I am, I just, I don't think that I would even be alive today without him there, without that peace of mind that I'm not in this alone. I mean, it's it's gotten a lot easier since meeting my husband and him sharing the same viewpoints and values as me and that's been amazing because it's much more difficult if your partner doesn't fall on the same mindsets and morals and views as you. It becomes a struggle, whereas it could be a partnership. I'm just not sure that there's much more that I could say about it. I guess more than anything, I just wanted to finish my point, my thought that I had in that previous video and fully explain myself to you guys so that you guys could follow along with that. And I do listen to you guys. I do read your comments. If you have anything that you would like to ask me, anything that you'd like me to talk about, anything at all, just go ahead and leave a comment down below and I will make sure to get back to you. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. That way you're automatically updated on the next post that I make. And as always guys, thanks for watching and I hope you have a great day.